Well, it's another edition of Viking Circle. None other than my guy, Herb Smith Jr. Yes, sir. We out here. You ready? Let's get it. It ain't going to be no, no swerving in this. Uh, but I got you here. No so. swerving? No swerving. I mean, unless you want to take the wheel. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, get home safe. You, know? <laughs> you don't trust yourself driving? Myself? Yeah. Oh, I'm a, I'm a great driver, but okay. uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave this up to you. I it's, it's not fast enough for me. I mean, it's going to about 60. Oh, it got 60, okay. Go to about 60, but how you doing, man? I'm doing great, just finished up, you know, a, a hot practice out here. Um, but it was it was solid, you know, training in New Orleans, uh, that's that's some real heat, so <laughs> this is just a little appetizer, but um, it was it was fun, uh, got got the juices flowing, uh, just came out here and got better on this, on this Monday. That's all you can do at this point, right? I mean, this is, you know, every day at practice, you hear like the pumped in crowd noise. You know, you got the speakers over there. How do you quiet that noise down to still do your job? Well, me personally, I just try to take one day at a time. That's all you can do. Okay. Uh, you don't you don't want to get, you know, too up on the highs and too low on the downs. Because, um, you know, at the end of the day, there's, there's always better, there's always worse. So I just try to take one day at a time, one play at a time, and then go from there. I mean, some, some days I'll have, you know, 10 catches in the practice. Some days I'll have two. And the days I have two, I don't want to be down on myself because, you know, I could have got better that day at blocking, you know what I'm saying, in a sense. So I just try to make the most out of each opportunity and just have fun and make plays in any way possible. Which team do you hate more, the Green Bay Packers or the Clemson Tigers? <laughs> well, I mean, at this, at this point in my career, I have to say Clemson because <laughs> they've taken two national championships from me. That's true. Two. So, and I've, I've only lost three games my whole college That's career, crazy. and two of them happen to be against Clemson. So, I gotta say Clemson, but I, I don't like Green Bay either. I mean, we, we won a great game at Green Bay. You've mm -hmm. experienced beating Green Bay there. Have you started to understand the rivalry since you've been here, like now that you've been a part of it for a couple of years? Yes, I definitely have. Uh, you know, growing up, just watching, you know, the, the big the big matchups with Green Bay and, and the Vikings. And then now, you know, being with the Vikings, it's, it's crazy hearing about the fans and hearing about the, the big rivalries and the games that that you know a lot of the, the legacies have been built so i just try to try to be a part of that and at the end of the day we gotta win um and especially when we play green bay it's a, it's a, it's a big uh big game for us man i don't think i've seen anybody on this team that enjoys life more than you i was talking <laughs> to jj and we were talking about you know just swag yeah and he said he had the best swag on the team you he were... said that ah <laughs> uh... <laughs> No, he said you were a close second. No, he be fresh. I mean, you know, he be fresh. He got his little chains, so okay. I think I think his little chains is what what he thinks he's doing. It, but <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. On, I'm coming on the jewelry. I'm mm. I'm not too like ah. Oh, I gotta have the ice. I gotta have the ice. Uh -huh. But you know, when 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 I get that, you know, correct correct money in line. You know what I'm saying? I, I, heard I, that. I don't I, heard I don't you. I don't want to I don't want to be out here big balling and you know I ain't got it like that yet. Mm -hmm. So. When the time is right, the ice is going to be correct. But I that. in terms of drip, I mean, I, I put a lot of different flavors together. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I definitely have the best drip on the team. But, yeah. But JJ, JJ got some swag. He got some swag. I but, heard that. I mean, the, he call yourself the boot boy. So the boot boy. I guess yeah. it come from from New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's something. It's something in that water. Honestly. That's what he said. It's something in that water. So, what is it going to take for your goals to be manifested going into 2021? My goals to be manifested, I would say, first and foremost, um, win a lot of games and, and win a Super Bowl. That's that's number one. Number two is come, come out the season healthy. Mm -hmm. Number three is no drops. And number four is every every chance that I get to make a play on the ball, go get it. And okay. in terms of running after the catch and my abilities in that sense, um, no man, no, no. I shouldn't get tackled by the first man. Period. And if, if I do, you you can you personally, I I'll, I'll give you twenty dollars, fifty dollars, whatever you want, because that's not happening. Okay. Period. So and a whole lot of touchdowns over over ten. It sounds like you got your Super Bowl speech ready. Oh, it's it's already <laughs> it's, it's been thought of it's thought of thought of a thought. So give me give me a quick sneak peek before we get out of here. All right, I'll put you on the spot. Let's see, let's see. Well, first off, shout out Coach Zim, shout out the Vikings organization okay. for drafting me and bringing me here. 
Because without them, this wouldn't be possible. Second off, we just won a Super Bowl, man. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. So I know how it feels to win a championship, and it, there's no greater feeling. Um, at the end of the day, you work you work hard for, for goals that you set you know, long, long times ago. And it's something that takes a long time. You're chopping at the wood, chopping at the wood. But once it's there, it's there. So, I mean, every opportunity, go seize it. And the sky's the limit. Er, always a pleasure talking to you. Sir. Like we always talk off camera. Like I'm hyped for you, man. <laughs> I'm excited for this year. Best of luck going forward. Oh, yeah. Breaking circle, my guy Ursula Jr. Doses.